In this video, we'll be using a Riemann sum to evaluate a definite integral. Our problem is to evaluate the definite integral from negative 2 to 1 of the function 2x times dx. Now, our definition of the definite integral is written here. We can see um, in comparison that a is negative 2 for our problem and b is 1. We can also see that f of x is 2x. Alright, now to um, use our definition of the definite integral, we can see that it's equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the Riemann sum. Now, what that basically is saying is that our number of rectangles and our function, if this is our function, the interval from a to b, and we partition this function into uh, rectangles, and we're finding the limit as the number of rectangles approaches infinity. So that will give us the area under this curve here. Right. So what we need to do is find delta x. And so in our case, delta x is b, which is 1, minus a, which is negative 2. So 1 minus negative 2 divided by n. So delta x is... 3 over n. So we're going to use this in our limit definition of the definite interval. And then we also need to find c sub i. And c sub i is a, which is our lower limit of integration. So negative 2 plus i times and then delta x, which we said was 3 over n. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the i times 3 over n. So we have c sub i is equal to negative 2 plus 3i over n. So I'll need to use this as well. So our definite integral from negative 2 to 1 of the function 2x dx is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation of the rectangles. i is going from 1 to n. Now I need f of c sub i. So f of negative 2 plus 3i over n multiplied by delta x, which is 3 over n. So this is my Riemann sum, and I'm taking the limit as n approaches infinity. Let me go ahead and substitute this expression, negative 2 plus 3i over n, into my function. So I'm taking the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation as i goes from 1 to n of 2 times this expression, negative 2 plus 3i over n, and then times 3 over n. Right, now we've done some of these before. We have a previous video using limit process to find the area under a curve. So we've had some experience doing this. Take my constants, my 2, and my 3, and my n. I'm going to bring those out in front of my summation. So we have the limit as n approaches infinity. This will have a 6 over n out in front of my summation goes from 1 to n. 
and uh, what I'm left with then is just negative 2 plus 3i over n. Now I can break this summation into two parts. Limit as n approaches infinity. I'm going to put this out in front and then I have the summation as i goes from 1 to n of negative 2 plus the summation as i goes from 1 to n of 3i over n. So now I need to use a couple of summation formulas. The summation of a constant as i goes from 1 to n is just that constant times n. So I'll use that for this part of the problem. And then on this one, we'll uh, bring our 3 over n out in front and then apply a formula for that. We'll need the formula for summation i, and that formula is n times n plus 1 over 2. So we'll be using these two formulas. So first, let me take care of this part of the problem. Um, my constant c is negative 2, so this part of the problem is just equal to negative 2 times n, and then plus. And then on this one, we brought the 3 over n out in front. And then the summation of i is um, this formula. So we have n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay. Um, I can cancel this n and this n. So that'll help a little bit. And the limit as n approaches infinity, 6 over n, negative 2n plus I'll distribute this 3 through the binomial. And I guess I'll go ahead and bring this 6n in to the quantity. Let me show that this way so that you can see where everything's coming from. And then 6 over n. times 3n plus 3 over 2. Everybody has their own way of um, simplifying these expressions. So um, this is a negative 12. The n's cancel. And here we have 18n over 2n. which is just 9. And then here we have 6 times 3 is 18 over 2n. This one. So now I can take my limit. The limit as n approaches infinity of this term is going to be 0. And these um, are not affected. So I have negative 12 plus 9 plus 0, which gives me uh, negative 3.